I think I can speak for everyone that it is a true gift to be here in beautiful South Carolina celebrating you both. And in describing you both as a couple, they are hard working deal makers who met at work. Although we're supposed to keep that in the chapel because their employer is not supposed to know about that. <laughs> Kathleen came over one night and said, I'm going to Ireland for a wedding, which we knew. And oh, by the way, I'm not going alone, as she turned beet red. I guess she figured she should fess up. Oh, and by the way, you know him. So she explained who it was. It was Joe Blanco, who um, was a manager at our Springfield store. And uh, internally, uh, that's called an HR nightmare. Joe had a way of really breaking through Kathleen's, we'll call it strong exterior with his persistence. And uh, I think as Anne said, you know, Joe says he was dating Kathleen for months before she was dating him. But the moment they were together, Kathleen was a different person. There were even occasional uh, signs of PDAs. Uh, I mean, what I saw today in the chapel is the most I've ever seen in my life with Kathleen, so. Kathleen has had a lifelong, I think it's a lifelong affinity for anchors. It is the theme atop all of their wedding details, the great beer koozies we got last night. Um, it is also at their doormat um, as you enter their beautiful new home. And I love the image of an anchor for today for the both of you an anchor that provides stability and security. It symbolizes steadfast, calm, and composure. What a wonderful metaphor for marriage. May your marriage be your anchor, as you both can be balanced as you greet the uncertain, ever-changing, but beautiful waters of life. You may seal your commitment with a kiss. I'd like to present Mr. and Mrs. Blanco. <laughs> Never did I think how many years ago, sitting on the bleachers of O'Connell's gym, singing Everyone Do the Night's Rumble, would I be standing here today giving your matron of honor speech? As the story goes, and we've heard tonight, Joe courted Kathleen for a full year before she agreed to a date. Joe took note of the little things, like the lunch orders, he embraced country music. Heck, he even stayed up past his 9 p.m. bedtime. All for Kathleen. With time and effort, your relationship has transformed into a symbol of love made only possible by each of you. It has been amazing to watch your relationship grow to something we can celebrate tonight and for the years to come. I know that Joey loves Kathleen, and you know it's just sort of a brother thing because I speak Joey. Because Joey was never going to say like I love Kathleen, you know, this is the girl, at least not to me. But I read between the lines, and it was um, the first time I ever bought a car from Sheehy, and it was actually the first time I ever met Kathleen. I don't know if she knows this, and um, I just, I'd already bought it. I just was there to pick it up, and he introduced me. He said, "This is Kathleen Sheehy," 
And I didn't even know, like, this is a Sheehy dealership or anything. I was just there to pick the car up. And, uh, <laughs> and we walked away, and she's like... <laughs> I, again, I had no idea who Kathleen was. She was sitting, like, at a desk. Like, from my perception, it was, like, outside of the office that Joey had. And I was thinking, like, wow, Joey's in love with his secretary. Uh, so <laughs> And I knew something had changed. He wasn't, he wasn't Joey anymore. He was Joe. 